Hi everybody, this is Mr. Moore. Hope that you're doing well. I want to give you a quick review of Sales Plan 1, the instructions for this project. So this whole course is going to build up to you doing a mock sales call with someone that you know. So we're going to be building on that idea throughout the course and having you get prepared for that. This first uh, activity, Sales Plan 1, I want you to think about the product that you would use that you're going to try to sell and the prospect that you're going to try and sell to. Who is it that you want to talk to? So let's walk through this very quickly here. For this assignment, accomplish the following. Identify the product or service you will sell. What product should you choose? What I want you to do here is to pick something that you know something about already. So you obviously, most of you probably are not, don't have a job or you have something that you can work on for, you know, from the, the company that you work with. So here you go, I want you to think about something you know a lot about. It can be anything that you have experience with and knowledge of based on your life experience. So I want you to pick on something that you, you have some experience with. It could be hair care, products, cars, cell phones, any kind of technology, sports, or hobbies. If you're already in the workforce, it can be the product or service your company sells to its customers. You just need to know a little bit about it. Here are the requirements for this, okay? The only requirements are, one, you have a good working knowledge about this specific thing. So you need to know something about it. If you're going to sell stuff, you have to know something about it. And it can be sold to just about anybody. On this second point, remember, you have to talk to the average person about this, not someone who knows a lot about a very specific industry or product. So when you choose something, you need to choose something that if you sat down with the average person, you know, your mom or your dad, your friends, a coworker, or an acquaintance, whatever, that the average person is going to know a little bit about this. So I'll give the example here. If you choose to sell fan blades for jet engine aircraft or jet, jet aircraft engines, you'd probably have a hard time even discussing that with your average person. So, so you might know something about some specialized thing, but that really won't work here because you need to talk about something that uh, the average Joe is going to be able to, you know, relate to. So if you chose car batteries, say that you know a lot about cars and car batteries, pretty much everybody has to buy these from time to time. Choose something you can discuss with pretty much anybody. So give some thought to that. It's really important that you choose the right thing because if you don't choose the right thing, the whole, the whole process here is going to fall apart. All right. In choosing the specific area, make sure you know something uh, not just about the topic in general, but, what you, but that you know something about the products and services that go along with it. Let's say you know a lot about hair coloring. For this assignment, you will also need to know something about the types of hair colors that are used in the market and why they're used in various situations. Your ultimate goal is to sit down with someone and try to tell them, sell them on a product related to the area you choose. All right, so essentially what I'm saying here is you, you not only need to know something about a cup, but you need to know something about cups in general and what, what kinds of cups there are and the reason people buy cups. You gotta have a, have a full knowledge of, of, of a market that's associated with a product. Now you don't have to be an expert, but you just have to have some kind of working knowledge of it. If you can't think of a way to sell it to the general public, you should choose something else. Reach out to me if you have trouble deciding. <clears throat> so go ahead and email me. Say, hey, Mr. Moore, I'm thinking about this. And before, you know, if you need some, some input, because if you send me something at the end of the week that's not going to work, I'm gonna make you redo it. Um, so I can't let you get off on this one. Number two, identify someone you can attempt to sell to later on in the course. Your first interaction with them will be in week four. This must be someone you can meet with more than once. You'll have to meet with them at least twice for this assignment. Make sure they would be a good choice for the product you have chosen. For example, if you're selling women's hair care products, you might want to choose a woman. Although if you could sell it to the man to buy for his wife, you might be able to get by with it. This would make it easier for you down the line. So again, if you've, if you, if you're selling car batteries, uh, you know, pretty much anybody's going to know about a car battery, but if you have something more specific, like uh, a computer part or, or uh, you know, something that's just for a smaller market, 
make sure that you choose a person who's going to be interested in that in some way, who might actually have need for that or might really want to purchase it. Now, obviously, you're not really selling stuff to them, but you need to pick something that you uh, pick someone that's going to make sense for this. It can be anyone you know, from a parent to a friend to a classmate. They can be any age as long as they are an adult, or if you're in high school, at least as old as you. So I'm leaving this pretty wide open, okay? So now for your submission, use a Word document, write up your choices, and give me this information. Your product information. What product type, product description, make sure I understand what it is. Don't just give me three words, explain it to me. Your experience with this product or industry. Tell me why you know, how you know what you know. Your level of understanding of this product, what do you know about it? Sell me on the fact that you know this product well enough to sell it to someone else. Convince me that you know this product pretty well. Let's talk, tell me where the product is normally sold and what the price range of it is, okay? And then for your prospect, give me the name of the person first and last, their relationship to you and their approximate age, and explain why you chose them, their fitness to hear about your product and your access to them. So make sure that you tell me, you convince me that this person is the right person for this project. And then follow these requirements. There are two pages. Make sure you're thorough on every part of the answer. Use good grammar and then read these carefully because I take off for this. So again, we're just getting started. I want to pick your product and want to pick your, uh, your, your prospect. And um, so I look forward to your submissions. Email me with any questions. Thanks.